Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Your TV refresh rate might be a bottleneck for gaming. There's potential for the HDMI port on your gaming console that connects to your TV, PC, laptop, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch to be incompatible with one another. For instance, if your gaming console can only support up to 50 Hz, but the TV wants to use 60 Hz, it will likely cause your TV to flicker. However, if your TV is 4K, but your gaming console does not support fork, it won't flicker. Instead, the picture will become smaller. Here's how you can try and remedy your TV flickering with a PC or laptop. Go to your display settings and change the display to show only on display 2, your TV. In display settings, go to advanced display settings and click on properties for display 2. Navigate to the monitor tab. Change the refresh rate to 30 Hz instead of 29 Hz. For Xbox Series X S consoles, hit the Xbox button situated in the middle of your controller to open the guide menu. Choose Profile and System. Select the Settings option. Make your way to the General tab and choose TV and Display. Go to Refresh Rate and set it to a Hertz option compatible with your TV. For PlayStation 5 consoles, while on the 5 pounds home screen, select Settings in the top right corner. Go to Screen and Video and then Video Output. Navigate to enable 120 Hz output and enable or disable it. 120 Hz with the You can check whether your 5 pounds supports 120 Hz by heading to Video Output Information, located in Information for the connected HDMI device. If the option is unavailable, then it is unsupported. It can also help to change your resolution from 4K to 1080i in your PlayStation settings. Test your HDMI cable to ensure its validity. Sometimes a simple HDMI cable or port can cause a significant issue. Try using your HDMI cable with a different TV, DVD, or DVR machine. If the issue persists, you'll know the problem is a faulty HDMI cable. Otherwise, it may be a fault with your TV. It's also worth noting that a standard HDMI cable will not support fork gaming. Instead, it would be best if you had a fork ultra high speed HDMI cable for the data to transfer more quickly. Update the drivers on your TV, PC, laptop, Xbox, or PlayStation. When one piece of hardware becomes outdated, it often spoils the relationship with other devices. As such, check for system updates, and if you use a PC or laptop, ensure all your drivers are up to date. Driver updates usually have notes stating what issues they resolve, so you can check them in case you want confirmation on a specific fix. For instance, updating your TV firmware is essential if you want to play games on Xbox at fork resolution and 120s. Disable live features on your TV. The TV's live features might cause your TV to flicker, like with LG TVs. Many Xbox ADR gamers experienced flickering on their TV screen until LG engineers discovered it was due to interference from the LG TV Live Plus feature. If you have an LG TV, there are specific instructions in the linked blog post. Disable Variable Refresh Rate VRR on your gaming console. The Variable Refresh Rate VRR is a dynamic feature that continuously adjusts the refresh rate of your game for a better experience. It alternates within a specific refresh rate range. Some users report having green lines across their TV preventing them from taking any further action. They had to hard reset their video settings using the CD and hard reset, hold the power button, their console. Afterward, they could safely disable the VR feature. Here's how you disable VR on a PlayStation gaming console. While on the home screen, go to Settings. Choose Screen and Video, then Video Output. Select Variable Refresh Rate, VRR, and disable it. For Xbox gaming consoles, go to Settings from the main screen. 
Select General, then TV and Display Options. Go to Video Modes. Untick Allow Variable Refresh Rate. Bonus, if you want to change the resolution, go back and look under TV and Display Options. Disable HECP, Deep Color, and the TV Backlight Subhead. Many modern TVs come with HECP, High Digital Content Protection, an Intel encryption system to prevent people from copying digital video and audio. Given that HDCP aims to prevent the video from being captured, if you want to utilize a game capture device, HECP will be an issue. Thus, to capture video, you must disable HECP. To disable HECP, go to your TV settings menu. Choose System. Untick the option for Enable HECP. In addition to disabling HECP, you should also disable deep color and reduce the TV backlight to zero. To disable deep color, tap the settings button on your remote control. Go to all settings, picture mode, then additional settings. Select HEMI Ultra HD Deep Color. Select your HEMI input to disable its deep color feature. Try a soft reset. A soft reset is where you turn off the TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. You then usually have to wait for 60 seconds, then you can put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Performing a soft reset clears a device's internal memory of running programs, which often clears up any technical glitches. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. Most TV models have specific instructions. If your TV still flickers when playing games, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new details that appear.